Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Welcome to my weekly meditation. This week's meditation is going to support you in recognizing the voice of intuition and the voice of your mind or ego. And we could also just say recognizing your intuitive self versus recognizing your kind of ego-driven self. So go ahead and grab a comfortable seat. And if you'd like, let your eyes come to close. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Repeat that a few more times. Deep breath in, complete breath out. Let your body begin to soften and relax. Especially tune into your jaw, let your jaw release and let that release kind of ripple across the rest of your face. So let your eyes grow a little softer, the skin of your forehead smooths out. You can even imagine your ears relaxing like the earlobes are becoming a little heavier towards the earth. Relaxing around your neck, releasing your shoulders. It's really letting your body relate with gravity so that you can feel more clearly the foundation of your body, your legs, your feet, your pelvis. Connecting into your belly, let the breath begin to move into the belly. Finding presence, finding a sense of open awareness and attention in this moment. And continuing to breathe smoothly, evenly, deeply. jump right in to this little journey that we're going to take, this visualization that we're going to do to come into relationship with our intuitive self and our ego self. So to start off, what I'd like you to do is ask in this moment to connect with your intuitive self. Put out that request. You can say it out loud. I want to connect with my intuitive self. Right? It can be just a simple statement like that. Or you can think it in your mind. And then once you've made that request known, imagine a version of yourself dropping down out of the sky above you and landing out in front of you. You're looking at this version of yourself through your third eye, Ajna Chakra. This is your intuitive self. Take a moment to really check him or her out and feel their energy. See if you can actually feel the truth that radiates off of them. See if you can feel their good intentions for you, their desire to guide you, support you, and help you navigate through life in the best of ways. And see also if you can sense their acceptance of you and your journey and your path and how you really can't make any mistakes.
And what you're going to do to align more fully with your intuitive self is to extend a golden thread from your heart to the heart of your intuitive self that is sitting out in front of you. This can just be like a, a, a golden thread. Let it extend out from your heart to the heart of your intuitive self. Once you've made that connection, take a breath. Breathe in and out. And then allow your intuitive self to extend a golden thread, maybe it's a continuous thread, back to you, linking you up, connecting you via the hearts. And then if there's anything you want to ask your intuitive self, if there's anything you want to tell your intuitive self, for instance, you might want to say, I want to listen to you. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to learn your language. I want to be open to the truth and the messages that you have for me. And maybe you have a specific question. If you have a specific question, you can just ask. And you might hear an answer immediately. You might hear an answer later today or tomorrow. Sometimes the timing is not immediate for when the answers come. Take another nice deep breath in and out. Tell your intuitive self thank you for connecting with you, for visiting you, for making themselves known to you in this way. And that golden thread between the two of you will not um, dissolve. That's going to remain there to help you both be able to communicate with each other more effortlessly. But then you can allow your intuitive self to release. Maybe it uh, lifts back up into the ethers. It just dissolves in front of you. And now we're going to make a, a connection to our ego self. And so just in, this, in the same manner that we connected with our intuitive self, you're going to call down your ego self and have them come and sit out in front of you. So maybe you see this version of you dropping down from the sky, landing in front of you, having a seat. And take a moment just to check out your ego self. This is the part of you that in some ways lives up in your, your head, up in your mind, and can speak to the past, can speak to the future, but oftentimes has difficulty speaking to the moment. Extremely valuable. We need our egos. And so it's nice to come into right relationship with them. So once you've kind of checked out your ego and got a little taste of, of who this, this version of you is, right? we're going to do the same thing. We're going to extend a golden thread out from our mind this time, so maybe from your headspace to the headspace of your ego. And then once that connection is made, allow your ego to extend the thread back to you into your mind. Take a moment now to really honor your ego, to honor um, everything that the ego does for you. It helps you um, remember things. It can help you creatively think about things, um, possibilities for your future. But one of the ego's main jobs is to keep you safe. That's huge. So really recognize that and say thank you to your ego. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for 
all of your attempts to keep me safe, to keep me in the known, keep me in familiar territory so that I remain safe. And then just ask your ego if it's willing to cooperate with you a little bit more, maybe kind of hand over the reins to you a little bit more to trust you. We're talking you as in your essence. You as in the big, the big you, the big version of you. The, the you that aligns effortlessly with your intuition, that part of you that knows. Ask your ego to cooperate with you. You can tell your ego that you would like its input at different times, but when it's overworking, when it's spinning, when it's um, throwing out worst case scenario after worst case scenario, when it's um, really loud and distracting, um, during those times, it doesn't have to work so hard anymore. You can relax and turn to you instead. Turn to you and your intuitive knowing instead. Your ego then can spend the bulk of its energy focusing on taking care of your life in a variety of other ways, like helping you remember appointments that you have, helping you pay your bills on time, helping you remember birthdays for your friends, helping you get your work done. And at the same time, helping you live your life more fully, more presently, more joyfully by not... Um, inundating you constantly with stressful or worrisome thoughts. It's just not helpful. But you know its intent is to just keep you safe. But it doesn't have to work that hard anymore. And in fact, a lot of those worrisome thoughts just aren't helpful. If there's anything that you want to tell your ego, if there's any questions that you have for your ego, maybe your ego has something to say to you, maybe just a gesture, maybe you can bow to each other. And when it feels complete, allow your ego to release, to dissolve, to rise back up into the ethers. And then just take a moment to sit in gratitude for having this opportunity to really come into right relationship with these two aspects of yourself, your intuitive self and your ego self, both necessary aspects of who you are, both helpful, both can be supportive to you living an amazing life. It's just a matter of kind of figuring out those roles and what each truly has to offer you and how they can offer you that in a way that is supportive, not debilitating. We're all in this together. Working as a team on the inside of you ripples out into the world and promotes a sense of teamwork, cooperation, collaboration amongst humanity. The change always starts on the inside. Let's sit for just a few moments longer in silence and just focusing on the breath now, letting things integrate by focusing on your inhales and your exhales.
feel free to sit a bit longer, just being with your breath, right? integrating through the breath these different aspects of yourself. If you're ready to move out to the rest of your day, gather your palms together at the front of your chest, drop your chin towards your chest, bowing to yourself. Namaste.